What's up? This is Uri for Gorilla Poker and the subject of this video is uh, opening big in live games. I've played my fair share of live games and very often, especially at lower stakes, you see people, both recreationals and regulars, just opening big. Uh, so for example, at a 500 NL game in a casino, you'll often see people opening to 20, $25 in various positions. And actually raising small, like the small raises you see online, is very uncommon. And there is this feeling like if you min raise, people just can't fold. So what I want to do today is debunk the myth and show you guys exactly the issue with opening Forex under the gun. And we're gonna show this by actually looking at the GTO sim, uh, which is designed for a live game environment. And we'll see very, very clearly one of the big problems with opening 4X. So uh, this is one of the, the sims that we have for sale on the Gorilla Poker website, which is designed for a live game environment, uh, Aria 500 and L Rake, uh, the Aria Casino in Vegas. This is what the Rake structure is based on. Uh, 4X open size and 200 big blind deep nine handed, which is something that you don't see very often. And uh, here you guys can see the opening ranges for each position. And the first thing that should strike you, if you're familiar with these programs, and if you're not, I'll, I'll show you, is that pocket jacks under the gun is actually uh, folding more often than not. Now, uh, this is pretty shocking, right? When you're under the gun nine-handed and you're opening to a four X size, you can't open more than an 8.7% range. You have to be extremely tight and you have to fold jacks. So how can this be? This, this seems ridiculous. And I strongly advise you guys, whenever you see output from a solver that seems ridiculous, you need to take a deeper look at what's going on and try to make sense of it and don't just take it at face value because really, guys, nobody in their right mind is gonna fold jacks. So something funny is going on here and we need to get to the bottom of this. So uh, we open jacks to $20. Here we see the responses of all the other players and the response is mostly to three better fold. Every player is three betting roughly a 4% range. It's a bit less for small blind than big blind. And big blinds also doing some cold calling, but, but mostly folding. So I want to do a simplified look at what the math would look like. Uh, we'll start out by looking at Equilab. So uh, what does a 4% range look like? Uh, you guys can see it scattered here, but it's a bit tough to read in this format. Uh, if if you take queens plus ace king, that's two and a half percent. Throw in some bluffs, uh, right? Sixty percent value, forty percent bluffs. Uh, you, you can throw them any which way you like. You guys can see how Monker is doing it kind of all over the place. But say you have some suited connectors, some ASX suited, uh, maybe like a pocket eights type of bluff, and you reach four percent. This is a polarized three bet range and it's one that has pocket jacks completely crushed because you either have them beat or you're bluffing and that's exactly the range against which a hand like pocket jacks is pretty much pure set mining. If it comes deuce, 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 getting in stacks with jacks is not going to be that good when your opponent is just going to have queens, kings and aces as his main pairs. So uh, what we'll see here is that when you get three bet and you're holding jacks, even though you call your EV is the same as folding. So uh, the three betting range of 4% denies all the equity from a hand like jacks. And uh, here we'll look at the short EV equation. So I summed up the amount of times we get three bet, total we get three bet 30% of the time. This is a bit sim simplistic for those of you who are mathematicians, but it, it's close enough uh, for our purposes. And, and certainly since we know the answer is folding, we're just trying to figure out why the calculation doesn't have to be 100% accurate. But let's simplify and say that when we don't get three bet, which is 70% of the time, we just win the pot size. So the EV of opening, you invest four big blinds, and then 70% of the time, you win your four big blinds back plus the blinds, so one and a half for a total of five and a half. And put this in an EV equation and the result is actually negative. So like I said, it's not 100% accurate, but you guys can see that a nine-handed table, there are eight people behind you. You get three bet 30% of the time by a range that has jacks crushed and, and it's over, it's all over. You can't make that money back. You can't open pocket jacks under the gun. This shows very clearly the really, really big problem with opening Forex. And you guys can see in the sim how opening Forex from other positions is also very, very problematic. 
uh, you would have to start folding hands like pocket sevens from the cutoff. And, and the reason is similar. Uh, the risk reward is just not there when you're opening to four big blinds. So to justify this, you're going to have to have some really bad players at the table. Otherwise, it's just inexcusable. And, and you need to open smaller. There's one and a half big blinds of dead money. Start risking too much to win it and, and things are just not going to work out in your favor. For those of you who want to see more, we have this chart for sale along with some really cool stuff at our website. There's a printable how to play preflop nine-handed chart with forex sizes and how to respond, which I think is a really common scenario and really interesting to see. And I'll be making more videos uh, if, if you guys are interested about all sorts of responses to how to play in live game scenarios. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you next time.